Hello everybody, I'm GSG. Welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to do three things. We are going to make a method to set the data in our database, to add data in our database and to get data from our database. Let's get into the coding. Okay, so just assume I've created a database with the table player scores and uh, the table contains two uh, columns, one called player name and one called score. Player name is of course where you store the player names and score is where you store the scores. And what we are going to do is we're going to make a public void called add score. So when there's a new player and um, he wants to yeah, register a new score. So we're going to do player player int score. And to actually do something with your database we're going to need the connection. But we're also going to make what's called a prepared statement. And you can also make a statement, but a statement is more vulnerable to SQL injection, which means that uh, hackers can easily change things in the database, uh, at least more easily change things in the database. So just use a prepared statement. And I'm going to call that variable stat. And it's going to be connection dot prepare statement. And over here is where you put your SQL. And of course, if we are going to add scores, we are going to do insert into and then the table player scores and as I said with the columns player underscore name capital N and score variable over there and then the values are going to be uh, two question marks because that's what you can use when you are uh, using prepared statement and we want to include the java.sql prepared statement over here we want to say add throws declare uh, throws an SQL exception, and um, those question marks are actually standing for a variable, and that variable uh, can be defined underneath the statement because we are also passing as parameters player and score, and as you can see, I want to get player name and score, and I want to put that inside of the question marks. So what we are going to do is we are going to say stat dot set string. And int parameter index uh, one because that's the first question mark. Normally Java starts to count at zero, but this time it's one. And then we are going to do player dot get name of course because that's what we want to put there as a value. And stat dot set int and then it's going to be parameter index two and it's going to be score. And a prepared statements you also need to execute the query, so you need to execute the prepared statement. And that's it for adding scores but what if we want to update a score so we want to have an in existing score and we want to update it well if you have a bit of knowledge of SQL um, this is easy and if you do not have it it's kind of hard and I suggest uh, looking at W3 schools and learning SQL from there or at least checking out how SQL looks from there I will link uh, it in the description box below so we're going to do set score and the set scores are of course also going to take a player and a uh, score and instead of insert into we are going to say update so we're going to update the player scores table and then we are going to set uh, the score equal to the question mark and then where so it's like if that's the where statement player name is equal to another question mark and of course uh, set string now has to be the second question mark because we are putting we're checking the player name to update the player score and set int is going to be the first one and then of course you need to execute the query and let me just copy that again we are going to change it around a little bit and this is going to be get score and we do not need to know the score in order to execute an, a statement to get the score Okay, so instead of void, we're also going to return an int. And that int will be int score, which will just define zero, int score equals zero, return score. And inside of the prepared statement, I uh, now want to get select. And select is going to be score, so we're going to get the score variable from, of course, the player scores uh, table. And then just with the above word player name, is equal to a question mark or with other words where the player name is equal to the player name 
and I'm going to input one over here. And stat.execute query is actually returning something called a result set. And we're just going to call it result. And it's a result set because although this will probably only return one result, it might also return multiple results. And it will all sound familiar if you are familiar with SQL. And what we are going to do over here is while result.next, we are going to say uh, score is equal to result.get int. And then the column index is just going to be score. And yeah, that's actually how you get, set, and add data inside of your uh, database in the form of scores. Of course, you can do uh, balances of players or faction information or whatever you like to do. And you can also do it between servers. So if you like have a bungee cord, but you do not want to develop a bungee plugin, you can do multiple uh, spigot plugins that make use of SQL. And that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you've got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section. Or you'll find a link in the description box to the Discord channel. Hope to see you over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.